Recently, in an interview, Kate gave specific views about Meghan. She believes that Meghan lacks the qualities required of a royal figure. This made her unfit and had to leave. Princess Kate and Meghan Markle have followed completely different paths since entering the royal family, and for one royal expert, this was to be expected, based on their polar opposite upbringings. Meghan comes from Hollywood, her dad was a reasonably successful lighting director, historian Tessa Dunlop explained to a K. But it's a very different environment. Hollywood it's about climbing over other people to get that role, to get the gig, to improve the rating to be better than the next one, that's ambition. Going from this to the demands of the royal family can't have been easy for the Duchess of Sussex, Dunlop said, and one of the main reasons Princess Kate seems so suited to her senior royal role these days is that she was brought up in a completely different environment to Meghan, since Kate was born in Berkshire. Kate's values were deference, appropriate levels of self-possession within a system, don't rock the boat, you make change through embracing the institution almost, the paradox, Megan's the other way around, they're totally like inverted versions of each other, Dunlop added. For the expert, the two women's backgrounds explain in part why Kate was able to fit into the family more seamlessly, and why Megan found it more feasible to leave. I think one of the problems is that we think, oh, you married for love and in the royal family but actually it's a job as well and that's where the rub comes and where Kate has managed so much better than Meghan, Dunlop said. But she'd been in training for decades and I think that we don't take that into account enough, sometimes, understanding why she entered this institution like a duck to water. Sadly, though royal fans originally hoped that Kate and Meghan could become fast friends, we've since learned that the two women didn't get along from the get-go. Two salient examples of this are the argument over who made who cry before the Sussexes' wedding, and Prince Harry's allegations that Kate was offended over a baby brain comment Meghan made. Though we don't know what goes on behind closed doors, it's hard to imagine that Kate and Meghan are on speaking terms these days. Before that, Meghan Markle was accused of mocking Kate Middleton in the first trailer for her Netflix series released earlier this month, with a royal expert saying that Kate doesn't deserve being the target of Meghan and Prince Harry's docuseries. Talking about the use of the Princess of Wales photo in the first trailer for the Sussex's Netflix show in his column for The Sun, royal expert Tom Bauer said, clearly target of the Netflix series, Kate does not deserve to be mocked by the Sussexes. He then added, for years, she generously supported Harry, a damaged, flawed man racked, on his own admission, by mental health complications. Their friendship was destroyed after Meghan arrived. Kate sought to help the American find her way in Kensington Palace. But she was understandably upset by Meghan's abrasive treatment of their staff. Meghan has never convincingly denied the staff's denunciation of her bullying tactics, the royal author further said. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's show Harry and Meghan has since released on Netflix in fall, and includes claims that Kate Middleton's husband Prince William screamed at Harry. further said. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's show Harry and Meghan has since released on Netflix in fall, and includes claims that Kate Middleton's husband Prince William screamed at Harry.